Yeah, no, I've been up since like five. Literally went to sleep quite late yesterday and then I say quite late, it was about like 11ish. But I hadn't slept through the flight here and I didn't sleep. So yesterday was the first day in Tokyo. Didn't sleep at all. Spent that, went out the whole day, as you saw. Went shopping, or well, tried to go shopping. Got some food, just kind of walked around some of like the local type touristy spots. Uh, day Sunday, it's not, Everything's open, but it's a little bit slower paced. So we're just gonna go out again today, just maybe do a bit of shopping, of like places we can go and eat and stuff. So we're trying to hopefully kind of tick those off. But there's so much to do in Tokyo and we're only here for a week anyway. So yeah, just trying to squeeze everything in. I'm gonna try and get some gifts and stuff out of the way now, just because I know if I leave it at the last minute, I probably won't get it done, so I'm gonna try and do them as I go along, try and get some gifts today. Um, but yeah, let me show you my room actually, one sec. I'll show you like one half of it because it's really messy in here. So that's the front door. Okay. You come in and it's got the toilet in here, which is pretty cool. I've got like a, like a jet system there and stuff. Um, this is a bathroom here, a shower, bath, pretty cool, right, um, and then has like a seating area with a little desk, like where somebody can work on, my staff, my bed, my friend's bed, and then this is our view, we're actually staying in Ginza, and Ginza is known for, it's kind of like luxury, 
uh, luxury stores. It's very, it's like, I'd say it's the equivalent to like saying you're like somewhere like Bond Street uh, in London. I'm fucking done.
thing I've learned since being here is that I'm probably never shopping in London ever again because the prices are way better out here it's tax-free as well just the service and like the availability of, of sizes go through what I've bought so far there's this Japanese skincare brand I think it's like the number one in in Japan it's called SK2 they sell this in in London but it's obscenely expensive. I um, mean this is for my sister so I won't open up everything but basically it's like a it's called a power kit. Um, yeah it's I know the bottle alone in London is like it's like four or five times more expensive than it is here. It's just really expensive in London too. I don't know if you ever come to Japan and you want some good skincare products except for this one I guess. So this is for my, my younger brother. He's, he wanted something from Capital, uh, a jumper, but uh, they were completely sold, sold out. Well, I think they had one size which was too big. Uh, actually, uh, he wanted the black version. I've got the, the blue and the pink one, which I've got the blue one here, I'll just show you. It's the blue one here. Capital. Show you the tag. Hopefully you can see that. Um, I believe the blue, like they had like a few colors which came out last year and it was, it was sold out everywhere. I actually got this from New York. Um, it's very difficult to get in London. And in New York they had it in a store there. And I managed to get my size in this one and a pink one. Way, way cheaper, like four times less. Um, but yeah, I didn't have a size, so I was kind of like shopping around trying to see what I could get him. And I just settled on going to Kith. This Kith Athletics tee in a size small. I'm not gonna open it, but yeah, it's just a basic, basic t-shirt with quite a simple design. Yeah, I'm just me some black cargo. Um, yeah, hopefully you can see that. Oh, 
got two nieces, so one's four and the other one's one. And I got them a couple of kimonos. And like children one. Like children's kimonos, that's the design. Pretty cute. I've just got them the same same pattern because my eldest niece Lana, she's um she doesn't like it if they're not if she's not matching with her, with her baby sister. I thought they just avoid any unnecessary tears and get them the same one. Yeah. So I went to this store called Studious. I went to another store called Nubian and they they're like similar to like your like independent like boutique stores in London that have like different designers and maybe ones that you haven't heard of and, and yeah this is from a brand called Lino and then that's the, the back there uh, they're like um, these are made in Japan which is cool nice this is a size one which I think is their smallest size and the length is probably like a 33 inch and then the waist is like 29 inch I would say which is about my size uh, track pack from a store called Nubian and they sold uh, a lot of needles in there so, track pants they're like a bootleg kind of design you can see they've got the logo there and like their, their buttons and their clasps have like these little, they're like little blue kind of like pearls um, which is quite nice. Tax free by the way, so. I went to Chrome Hearts. Um, they've got three stores here, uh, here in Tokyo. I've, got, I've just got some boxer shorts. The, the design's actually quite cool. I don't know how much they are in London. Um, I've just got like Chrome Hearts there, little tag, and this part's pretty cool. It's like, they got, like raised kind of material there. The staff of uh, Chrome Hearts, by the way, all of them are just different level. So nice. The lady that served me, her name is Cece. Uh, she was in the 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 biggest store, which is in Minato in London. Uh, the one in the Selfridges, that their service is okay. It's nothing too crazy. But the one in the in London's the new main store. It's just I don't know. You can't take pictures in there. You get followed around really awkwardly. If you ask a question, it's like they just they're a little bit short short with you. Um, I don't know if they're told to be like that, but here in Tokyo, obviously the culture is a lot different. The level of respect they have for everyone, like they, they don't really recognize stature or class, uh, in my experience anyway. They just treat everyone the same. You know, they're super respectful and kind to everyone. You mean that to this lady, Cece, she's such a sweetheart. She was just being super friendly and like showing me around and after I made the purchase, she was asking, you know, kind of where I'm from, and she was like complimenting my style, and she took me upstairs to like the. They normally have it closed off, but there's like a, I think it's like a staff room, like a staff section, staff kitchen. They've got like living room area, and they have all these incredible chrome heart pieces, like rugs, like couches, pillows, just even the utensils they have in the kitchen. Everything is just unbelievable. I've never seen anything like it. I was super privileged to be there and she kind of, I said to her, can I film in there? And she said, yeah, of course. And then and she started taking pictures of me and telling me, yeah, I should go here, go there. So she was really sweet. And yeah, I told her if I ever come back to Tokyo, which I'm planning to do again this year, you know, going straight straight to that store and going straight to her. If you want to see the video, by the way, of, of the, the iTech over in Chrome Hot, uh, it should be on my Instagram somewhere if you want to follow me on there. Uh, but, So that's the t-shirt. God, I've already creased it for fuck's sake. Um, it's the back there. And then I think there's like a small chrome box detail in there as well. See that. The last thing to show you from this haul anyway is these shoes. I've already worn them a couple of times. But I don't want to just not wear them and enjoy them. Um, got them in black. Oh, again, the lady who served me at Louis Vuitton, her name was, I won't say her name, but she was unbelievably nice to me. She's like, she didn't, she didn't really speak English, so we were just like communicating on Google Translate to each other, uh, which is pretty cute. And um, yeah, she just, she was just so nice. Like I think I saw on, on StockX, people were asking for like 
2200, 2300 pounds, uh, which is just absolutely obscene. Um, but yeah, they come in dust bag. I'm gonna keep this box by the way, because exactly how they look. So these, these laces. So they've got a nice detailing, got the LV there, a little LV clover, the Vuitton. Not too short of material this all is, but LV on the tongue. I don't know, it just, it just looks like it's like made for Japan, I don't know. Like the style and stuff, like the font. Uh, but this one I had to do like a full size down, which was a seven and a half. And even then I probably could have got another half size down. Before I, even before I came to this trip, I, I had bought another pair of shoes that I actually will show you. Oh God, they're so dirty. But I bought these uh, last week. I've got a pair of Protavias, which I've absolutely worn to death. And I didn't feel like taking any more fit picks in those because I've taken enough. But yeah, these are last week, so. Got a pretty subtle like Givenchy detailing there. And then I've got the clasp and obviously I don't wear anything that can show this i just wear like cargoes or tr jeans or trousers kind of open over the chill for a bit and then and then go back out and see what else i might want to do Do I get mafia? Big good junior edition! <laughs> 